I'm going to cover four laws, the law of identity, double negation, excluded middle, and non-contradiction. This is found in propositional logic. So the first thing is pretty simple, uh, the law of identity, which is going to be P equals P. I don't think that needs any explanation. Uh, let's do the law of double negation. You would have probably seen this in elementary mathematics. So you get P equals um, not P. Uh, that was a bit long. That shouldn't look like that. Uh, you'll also see it represented as two squiggles sometimes. Uh, they're both exactly the same. So either a, a long line and a short bottom or two lines. So P equals the negation negation of P. So pretty simple. Um, when you multiply two negatives, it's the exact same thing. So then there's the law of excluded uh, middle. Um, so this is uh, P or not P, and I'll also represent it as P or P. So a little squiggly, um, which is pretty simple. If P or not P. So it's one or the other. It is something or it isn't something. Now for the slightly more complex, well, hardly. Uh, this is obviously very introductory, so we'll get into the more complex stuff later on. The law of non-contradiction. So that's going to be P, so not brackets, P, and not P. So a proposition cannot be both true and false at the same time and in the same sense. So for example, P is it is sunny and P not P is obviously it is not sunny. Don't know why I put that comma there. So uh, another very basic one and very obvious cannot be both true and false at the same time. So that's a little introduction as to how you can use some propositional logical um, laws. And in my next videos, we're going to make it a little bit more complex.